take a look at Sync the Pink. So this one's gonna start off with this B flat power chord. Then we're gonna hammer on three to five on the A string to third fret on the D. To our first fret on the big E string. And then hammer on three to five on the big E string. To our third fret on the A. To an open G chord. All right, then Angus starts that riff. Malcolm throws in a few more open G chords. Then we're gonna play this pattern here. So we're gonna play G and we're gonna move to C. Now when we go to C, we wanna make sure that that pinky is on that third fret of the D string. And we're just gonna be lifting that pinky off um, and then back to G in this pattern. So. Now when the vocals start, we're going to play that same concept, except we're going to play the C chord, the pattern just a little bit different. Then we're going to play this. We're going to play C to G. And then we're going to play C to our second fret on the A string, but with all the other strings except the big E string, back to C, back to G. D chord and then we're going to move to the C power chord and then move our first finger up here to the second fret of the A back to that C power chord repeat that but now go to D back to our B flat All right, and then we go back into that so the only other difference now is that right before we get to this little lick, we're going to be doing this. It's really the same thing. You're just that C chord and lifting that pinky off. Then that little riff is going to be this. So we've got our sixth fret on the E string and fifth fret on the B string to now our third fret on the B and the E to our third fret on the B. B and the G to our fifth fret on the B and the G and then we're going to bend that up and back back to that third fret on the B and the G to fifth fret on the D now these 12 gauge strings on this I can't really bend that with just this I have to kind of use my uh, pinky and uh, ring finger just to push those strings up uh, but you're just bending it up slightly back down to this uh, third fret on the B and the G and then fifth fret on the D string all right so that's pretty much all the parts for this one during the guitar solo or right before the guitar solo you're gonna hear this F chord and then you're gonna hear a G and it's not a full G it's just the open D and G strings All right, now when the solo, that's right before the guitar solo. So when the solo starts, we're gonna play that same thing, C to G, C to G, and then just to that second fret. Or we're gonna let the chords ring out more when the guitar solo is going, so. All right, and we go back into that again. And it just ends on that riff again, like I think four times. Um, and that's pretty much it for this one. We'll see you guys next time.